Hey everybody, I'm just getting set up, uh, but I need to know how the audio sounds uh, because I totally almost forgot to set that up. So how do I sound? Is it loud enough? Is it quiet enough? What if I talk like this? Can you hear me? Let me know. I'll be on in just a second. I've got a question for you guys uh, that I'm going to put in the poll in just a sec as well. But let me know. Okay, I just put a poll up. We'll talk about this again more in the uh, when I get you know really started. But we're gonna be crocheting dinosaurs today, obviously. Doi. Um, but I don't know which one you guys want me to crochet. I think we got time for two dinosaurs, but uh, let's start with just the first one. Which one would you like me to crochet? Uh, I just put the poll in the chat. Your choices are between a T-Rex, a Stegosaurus, a Raptor, and a Triceratops. Obviously, we're going to be customizing them as well. But first, we need to decide which one you want me to crochet. Again, I'll be on in just a sec. I just really want to make sure everything's working right before we get going. All right, good timing. That sounds like a, oh wait, I need to press a button. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna start here. Let's start like that. Hi everybody, welcome to the live stream. Do a little dance with me. If you ever go to a wedding with me, I do a lot of this. No, that's not true. I, I, I'm actually a pretty good dancer. I'm good at swing dancing specifically. I, I think I'm a pretty good swing dancer. Hi everybody, welcome to the live stream. Today we are crocheting our very final dinosaur for the year, I think, maybe. Unless something happens and then I end up crocheting another dinosaur, I don't know. But today we're going to be crocheting our final dinosaur. Uh, I currently have a poll going on in the chat for which dinosaur we're going to be making. 
uh, but you'll be able to choose uh, between a T-Rex, a Stegosaurus, a Raptor, and a Triceratops. Uh, we're going to choose that soon, and then we're going to choose the color, and then we're also going to choose what he's going to they're gonna wear so we're gonna we're just gonna be customizing a dinosaur and uh, yeah let's switch over to the hands and show you what we got for you guys today look at that isn't that beautiful wow it's gorgeous all right so uh uh before we get going let's change the vote let's let's finalize what you guys have chosen and and see what you guys chose it was a raptor by 30 percent wow it was actually a pretty close vote no question but raptors great oh my gosh this is going to be great the problem is this pattern is not yet on the website because i was supposed to finish it today but i wasn't able to because my computer crashed so the pattern is going to be on the website probably tomorrow i did record it the the videos and the left-handed video are recorded and edited and the pdf is just about done i just need to do the pictures and get it on the website and get the time codes and all that other stuff but it's almost done it's almost uh across the finish line same as the volcano pattern both of them are like this close so they should be done asap but today we're going to be crocheting a raptor uh, we're also going to end up choosing hats and stuff but next choice is the color so we get to choose between four different colors. Our color choices are teal, yellow, red, or lavender. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the poll right now. Choose a color. Teal, yellow, lavender. It's actually gold, it's not really lavender. Or gold or red okay poll number two in the in the chat i know what i'm voting for um okay so while you guys are voting for that let's talk about what you need for this pattern and then talk about how you can support this channel if you are interested in supporting it and then we'll get crocheting so the first thing is what do you need to crochet this pattern all you're going to need is worsted weight yarn in 100 percent cotton uh, that's what we're going to be using today. You can use any kind of yarn that you want. Just try to make sure that the crochet hook works with whatever yarn you're using. So in our video here, we're going to be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. That's what I usually like using for worsted weight cotton yarn. You'll need a darning needle, a pair of safety eyes. You can get a bottle of eyes like this in the shop. It's a great way to support the channel, but that's a spoiler alert. And, <laughs> and then you might need, a, you'll need a little bit of white yarn. Honestly, this is way more than we're going to need. And that's going to be for the teeth. And then we're also going to need some other colors. That's going to be for making it probably, probably adding a hat to our rafter. I think that's probably a good idea, but we'll figure that out as time goes on. We also probably will have time for one additional one. Okay, so uh, a, can we make a new dino bundle with the updated new dinosaurs absolutely we're not only am i working on a new dinosaur bundle but i'm also working on a full ebook that includes all eight dinosaurs together um, with all the video tutorials i'm re trying to redo the triceratops the brontosaurus stegosaurus and t-rex video as well to update that so it's a big update coming soon uh, i was supposed to have it done by probably like last week but i didn't so oopsies but it looks really good honestly i'm I'm glad it's taking a lot of time because it's gonna be worth it. I promise. Okay, but that is everything for what you need. Now, how you can support this channel if you're interested in it. So if you like what's happening here and you would like to support this channel, there are a few different ways you can do so. The first easy, cheap, free way, which you should have already done, honestly. I mean, oh, you gotta like and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Please like, subscribe down below, uh, especially like it because we're doing a giveaway in this video. Uh, I don't know if the last video got enough likes for like to unlock a giveaway or whatever, but I just decided I wanted to do a giveaway. So what we're making today, you actually get a chance to win. Uh, I put a link in the description of this video and in the chat for where you can enter to win this. All you have to do is fill out a little form Really, it's just asking for your name and email so that I can let you know that you won and find out where to ship it to. So yeah, so you can fill out that for the giveaway. If you like this video a whole bunch, let's say it gets 300 likes. If this video gets 300 likes, 
we will do another giveaway next live stream because why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, other great ways to support this channel if you want to. Uh, you can support with a Club Crochet membership. That's probably the best way to support. If you're not already a member, you really should, should consider becoming one. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to a full library of tutorials. I mean, I add a new, at least one new one every single month. I've been adding like two or three for the past few months though. So it's got a lot of patterns in there. Uh, members also get uh, discounts in the shop and they can even get kits with all the materials they need to make whatever we're making next month and adding to the library next month. Next month pattern and kit is going to be for a pumpkin. Of course it's gonna be for a pumpkin. Honestly, I can't believe I haven't done a pumpkin kit yet. Uh, it's gonna be 100% wool and it is a no sew pattern, except for the leaf. You do technically have to sew the leaf on, but really it's more like attaching the leaf. It's a really cool pattern. I really think you're gonna like it. Become a Club Crochet member. You get early access to this pattern. It should be out uh, within the first week of October. And uh, you'll get a kit with all the materials you need mailed to your door. We're using 100% wool. It's good stuff. I really suggest you do it. Uh, the end of signups for the discounted price for the kit is on Monday. So if, as long as you sign up before Monday, you should be able to get the kits. Uh, memberships start at only $5 a month and you can even get a free trial. Okay, so that's the main way to support. You can also support by purchasing merch, kits in the store. We got stickers, we got t-shirts, we got new t-shirts coming soon. And uh, of course, the last way is with a uh, tip. You can tip the channel, you can tip me. And if you tip, you get to add something to our beautiful wall of crocheted things. Uh, you got a tip for more than 15 buckaroos to get something up on the wall. This is my office. So these are consistently in my office. It's kind of cool. I really like this system a lot. And we already got one. Cooper, you rock. You rock my socks. I actually had something prepared for you, Cooper. You can choose between a couple different options. I was going through all of my old crochet stuff and I realized there's some things in here that haven't been seen for a while. So Cooper, here's your choices. You get to choose between, and you get to name this as well. You get to choose between the bugbear. Now this isn't like a D&D bugbear. I just called it a bugbear because I didn't know what a bugbear was and I thought it looked really cute. Or the steagle. It is both a steed and an eagle. Or a stag, it's a stag and an eagle. Here, wait, let me show you on the other thing. Choose which one you want. Here's the, here's the steagle, and let me know what the name is. And this one actually has foldable arms, foldable wings too. It kind of looks really creepy. I, I actually really like it. Look at his little tiny feet. I don't know if we can get him to stand up, but I mean, we, we can probably get him to stand up with the wings actually. Or the bugbear. And you get to choose the name for either one. Yeah, only one entry for, per person for the giveaway, by the way. But let me know which one you want. Cooper and we'll add it to the library and then if Cooper can come up with the name you got it if not he might need help with the name so if you guys have any ideas let me know it is extremely fluffy super old kit or a super old design I think I designed it for a monster Monday I know you know how how are you gonna pick I don't know there we go he stands up stay there you go he stands up a little bit all right, you choose that. While you're making that difficult decision, I am gonna get prepared here because we are crocheting a raptor in lavender. All right, sounds good to me. We also need to figure out a, let's see, we got lavender. Let's get this out of the way. Do I have scissors? Oh no. Need this. Let's clear. Let's clear the deck. Okay. Move my phone. Wow, we are running slow. We're going so slow right now. We need to speed this up. Okay. So we got our all of our materials here. Let's move this over. Again, this raptor pattern will be on the website ASAP. I'm so sorry it's not there yet. 
Okay, Cooper chooses the winged one. The Steagle. Part eagle, part stag. That's what it is. Part eagle, part stag is the steagle. And they're gonna go right. God, I wish I had something to make it hang. Then it could be floating. That'd be pretty cool. I could pin him like that. Nah, that's too much work. Let's just put him right here. We might end up filling it up more later. I hope you can see it. He's having a hard time standing up. I'll lean him back a little bit. Let me know if you got a name for that. All right, switch it to the hands. Whee All right. Hurry up, Louise. Jeez, Louise, I know, I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're crocheting a raptor today, and we gotta start thinking while we're going about what we want to add to our raptor. Do we wanna add a hat? Probably, right? I usually almost always wanna add a hat. Or do we want to add a some glasses? Glasses could be cute. A monocle? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to do a vote for that soon. We'll have to do a vote for that soon. Also, we got to cancel this vote. God, there's so many things to do. We got blah, blah, blah. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start by making the teeth. I am not teaching how to crochet this in this video. I have all the dinosaur crochet patterns at clubcrochet.com slash dinos. So if you want to crochet a dinosaur, that's where you should go. The raptor should be there uh, on, that, on, that sing, on that same page by uh, tomorrow, by Friday. So hopefully by Friday. Oh, a propeller hat. See, now we're getting some good ideas. Now we are getting some good ideas. I'm starting by crocheting the teeth, by the way. If you're curious of what this little doodad is, it is some teeth. I do like the idea of a propeller hat. A fedora sounds adorable. A fedorable. A cowboy hat sounds cute too. I'm liking all of this. And like I said, we're going to be giving this away. So if you win, the giveaway, you actually are going to win what we're making right now. Ooh, good question. Will the sunflower friend from the YouTube short be ever be an available pattern? Yes, I think it will. Um, I'm sorry I didn't make it into available pattern. When I was making that one, I kind of just wanted to like have the freedom of not thinking about a pattern while I was designing something because. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of like, when you're when you're a designer and you're consistently making more and more designs, sometimes it's nice to just like let yourself be free and just make something without the intention of doing a, um, doing a pattern for it, you know what I mean? Which is what I did with that pattern. But I'm sorry about that. I, I will try to get that in uh, on the website. There's a, I've got like a, a list that I need to get done including uh, the November kit. That actually needs to be, those patterns need to, need to be done first. Uh, yeah, it's like pumpkin needs to be done first. Well, Raptor, I'm finishing tonight. Then the volcano, then the pumpkin, then the November kit. We're gonna be doing burbs, two new burbs. You get to choose which one you wanna make. And then I can start doing all those other patterns. I need to work on that. Uh, the monomal bag that we did in the live stream needs to be a pattern. I need to do a um, more bonimals. I need to do more burbs. I need to, I need to make a lot of patterns, but I will add that to the list for sure. Ooh, a mailman bag with letters. Oh, I really like that idea. That's good. A pacifier and a diaper. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, wait. We need to, let me finish up. Let's get to where we make the, because we, well, actually diaper we can add after the fact that also. Oh, I should probably pull up the pattern. Oh, I have the pattern up. Wow, I'm so prepared. There we go. I really like this pattern. It goes extremely fast. Um, do I think that clover crochet hooks are the best? I really do like the clover crochet hook, this one specifically, um, because it uh, is rubber and I can use the rubber to stuff my pieces with. 
and it's just like a really good size i really like how the hook is too because it's like kind of a rounded crochet hook that being said there are a lot of good options out there i wouldn't say this is the best this is just the one i use the most because it's what i have um but there are really good um there are a lot of really good options for crochet hooks out there as well genghis raptor as in like genghis khan raptor that's kind of wild yeah yep exactly see i got a never-ending crochet list uh by the way you want to hear my actual i i have an actual crochet list right now of just like fun projects that i want to work on one of which is uh i'm making a granny square scratching post I mean, a uh, granny square cover for my, for our couch right now, just for the arm of the couch, so that the cat doesn't scratch it. It looks so cute. I also need to make a grant. It's not gonna be a granny square. It's gonna be like a hexagon granny square. I've got a water cooler in the future or in the corner that I really like uh, in this room because it just makes me drink a lot more water and it looks real classy. Uh, <laughs> real classy. Um, so I want to make something cute for on top of that. And then this is the cool one. I got this really cool table in here that you can like kind of fold up. And so what I want to do is, sorry, I need to make sure I'm doing what I need to. What I want to do is make a grass cover for it so that when I play stitched, I can have like a full field of stitched that you can like, I want to make it so you can like not pin it on, but like kind of button it on underneath the table. So it holds, a, it co completely covers the table with like a, Kind of like a rug shape, uh, rug type of grass that I crochet. I don't know. I'm really excited about it. I thought about it last night and I was like, oh my God, that's a great idea. It's probably not that great of an idea, but <laughs> it's good to me. Uh, Johnny, yes, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, email me all about that. But I do think that's a good, I think that's a good system right now because there is just a lot going on right now. But thank you for thinking about that. Oh my gosh, Echo Cat has a 41 item kit uh, list for crocheting. That's wild, dude. That's crazy. Johnny! Thank you so much, Johnny. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and put out something for Johnny because you're so sweet. Let's see. Do we start to get a little Halloween y up in here? You know what, Johnny? Your choice. Do you want to get a little Halloweeny, or do you want to cover this place with dinosaurs? That's your. Those are your two decisions. Those are your choices. Uh, Victoria, dude, Victoria, are you new? I have never seen you in here before. If you're not new, sorry for thinking you are. Uh, but welcome to the chat. Do I stream live on Twitch or is it only on YouTube? Uh, I currently only stream on YouTube. I try to make the YouTube uh, live streams like kind of an event, like we're doing something specific in each live stream. But I do want to start t uh, live streaming on Twitch under my other channel, Louis Loops. Uh, I want to do just like miscellaneous crochet things there and gaming. I want to do a lot more gaming there. Uh, but yeah, I should be there soon. Uh, again, the li the live stream handle for Twitch will be Louis Loops, L O U I E S L O O P S. That's my other handle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, complete. Johnny, Johnny chooses Halloween. Let me finish this round, and I will get you something a little Halloweeny. We got so much Halloween. I'm so excited. You know, I'm always excited for Halloween. That's it's one of my favorite uh, holidays. Christmas is probably my favorite, but Halloween is way up there. We're gonna put out, let's see, do we do Grumpy Ghost or do we do Bat? Grumpy Ghost, cute little bat. We're gonna do cute little bat. Johnny, this is for you. We're just gonna put this out on the screen. I need to fix his little feet. But it's a cute little bat. I think this is actually a free pattern on the website. 
It's so cute. I love the wings for this thing too. And it hangs upside down. It's got uh, a magnet in the bum. See, look. So you can hang upside down like that. And the wings are foldable so you can fold it over so it can be all hidden like these. Like, like these. Isn't that cute? He's so cute. All right, well, we're gonna put our bat right here in the corner for you, Johnny. Just watching over us, making sure Making sure we're not goofing around too much. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm excited for the gaming live streams. I know. I'm so sorry I'm taking so long. It's just, you know, I, I'm starting to get in the flow of work. Spec like, of making patterns and stuff. I've just been, like, flying. I'm, I've been working on so many patterns. Every day I'm just, yeah. Yesterday I decided to... Uh, put all the lava, the volcano pad, uh, live streams together into one long video. And, and it took me forever to edit it together. But it's like a seven hour video. I just, okay, so here's why. It's going to sound silly that I did it. I told Jules it, that I did that. And she was like, why would you do that? But it's because when I do, when I'm working on the written pattern for the volcano, uh, which again, thank you to Cooper who helped us write down that pattern during the live stream. But during it, I was like, okay, it's gonna be really hard to link to specific parts of this video. So if someone like needs really a lot of help with cursing like the lava part or something like that, I really wanna make sure it's easy to get to. So I was like, okay, let's just put them all together in one video so people don't have to figure out which clip it is and where it is and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but it's like seven hours. It's so long. It's it's like a 50 gigabyte video. It it was I was starting to upload it onto YouTube before this live stream, but it was gonna take like 11 hours to upload. So I was like, I'll do it later. Oh, Onyx, cool. Yeah, we do have a uh, a board game that I'm working on, where you can actually play a game with all these dinosaurs that you crochet. It's super cool. You'd really like it, I promise. It's a very simple game. I call it Lava Run. Uh, and the play test is open right now. I'm actually just about at the end of this month. So on probably on Monday. Uh, it's a, it is a board game, yeah. Uh, probably on Monday, I'm going to send out the, um, the Wave 2 of the test for the Lava Run game. Because I included a new version of the game where you can play single player. Um, just by yourself. It's really cool. I I really, really like it. Honestly, I've been addicted to playing it just by myself all the time. Like every night I spend like two, two or so hours just playing Lava Run by myself. It's super cool. So I should have that out to people to test out uh, on Monday. The idea is I want to get as much feedback and testing as I possibly can before I'm ready to release this board game. Uh, as a Kickstarter. I want to do it as a Kickstarter because you do have to buy a board and cards that come with it. Uh, and then I'm also going to make it available so that you can get pop out like cardboard versions of all of the uh, pieces. Instead of crocheting your own dinosaurs, you can just get cardboard pieces that you can like color in. But I still want there to be some kind of crafting aspect to it, which is why you're going to be able to color it in. Uh, but I want to make sure it's perfect before I do that Kickstarter. And I just keep thinking of more ideas for it. And if the Kickstarter goes extremely well, I just have this idea in my mind where it's like, oh, what if the Kickstarter does like really, really well? If the Kickstarter does really, really well, this game is so built for a video game. It's like ready to be turned into a video game. So if it goes well enough, I'm totally gonna hire someone to turn it into a video game because I just think that would be so cool. That would be so cool. I really want to try making video games where in the game you can like unlock the crochet patterns for what's in the game. So like if you get, you know, you get a certain thing and you unlock a certain hat, then you actually unlock the crochet pattern for that hat. So it kind of like works with the video game. I don't know. I just think it'd be so fun. What, what a fun idea that is. How am I going to release it? It will be re the... Lava Run will be released as a board game and available for sale. So it's going to be for sale on the website. Um, I also probably will make it so that if you have a Club Crochet membership to the website, you can like download the printable version of the game. Uh, just because, you know, it's nice to add more um, 
the more offerings I can do for members, the better. By the way, again, bottle of eyes like this available in the shop. Great way to support the channel. You can get six millimeter eyes and eight millimeter eyes. Uh, it comes with 50 to 100 eyes. It's super cool. I think you can find it at just clubcrochet.com slash uh, eyes. I think that'll take you right to it, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, I know I'm going kind of quick with this Raptor. I'm not really talking about too much of what I'm making. That's because I literally just recorded the video tutorial for this like a couple days ago, so it's so fresh in my mind. I remember exactly how to do it. Will I be getting your updates for Lava Run? Uh, maybe. You got to go to the Lava Run thing and sign up for the email list. If you're, if you're signed up for the email list, you will get updates. Uh, the email list only goes to... I think we're capping it at like 500 people so that I don't have too many people that are giving me feedback at once. So if you want to sign up for that email list, uh, Cooper, if you get a chance, no rush at all, but you can put it in the chat. I actually think Cooper might already put it in the chat. Uh, and it actually might be lower down on this where you can sign up for that email list. All right, that's the eyes. That's the eyes. Um, can you purchase individual patterns from Club Crochet or do they only come in bundles? Uh, you can purchase individual patterns, actually. A lot of the patterns are per uh, individual purchases. Um, the, th the patterns usually cost about like $3 to purchase. Um, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, depending on how in-depth the pattern is. But, uh, yes, you can purchase them. The only reason I don't it's not that I don't think you should purchase them. You totally should if you want to just purchase a pattern and try something out. But a membership is only $5, and you even can get a free trial, uh, and you get all of the patterns. So I don't know. I I think it's a gr that's why I think it's a, such a great way not only to support the channel but also you like you get a lot out of a membership. Seriously, it's like, and every single month you get more out of signing up for a membership. So it's kind of cool. Um, how do you find out if you're on the email list or not? If you go to that link that Cooper literally just posted, you can um, sign up there. And if you're already signed up, it should tell you. Uh, if you're, but it, yeah, you should get an email like pretty quickly after you sign up that will send you to the play test for it. Uh, hopefully it works. How old was I when I learned to crochet? I learned to crochet when I was, I believe I was 14 or 15. I was in high school, sophomore year of high school. So yeah, I think probably 14 or 15. I am currently 30. Oh my God. I know, right? I know, I'm just an old dude now. Actually, I'm gonna wait to stuff this. Uh, we need to do a vote though for We need to do a vote for what we're gonna add to this guy. So I'm gonna get the vote started, like set up. Give me your ideas. I know we have a few different ones. We need four options for what to add to this Raptor. I like a few different ideas. I'm gonna start with what should we add to the Raptor? Okay, I really like the idea of a pinwheel hat. I like the cowboy hat. And then we had, there were two other really good ideas, but I can't remember what they were. Oh, <laughs> the diaper and a pacifier. <laughs> okay, I'll add the diaper, but I'll also, I think I know what the last one is. It was um, a messenger bag with letters. We want to make him a little, a mailman, right? Mailman gear. Uh, okay, and then the other one was a diaper and a di we'll just do diaper. Diaper, I think, is not going to look as good as you think it will. But if you vote for it, you vote for it. We'll make it work. All right, vote is in the chat. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want me to add to this raptor? 
I'm so sorry again that this pattern isn't ready yet. I, I really, I really feel like I let you down by not coming out with this pattern in time for this live stream. Um, but, you know, I, there's only so much I can do. But I, I really, I really do want you to know that I tried. <laughs> I tried. Oh, by the way, I know what I'm voting for. For sure. Do I have to be on for the giveaway? I gotta hop on for a little and I don't know if I'll be back in time. That is a very good question, Katie. No, you do not have to be here during the giveaway. All you have to do is enter the giveaway. I will email you to let you know if you won. So if, you, if you're just popping in real quick to say hi and you need to leave, no worries at all. You can bounce in and out if you want. I do not, I do not mind. I totally understand uh, if you can't stay. Martha, what's your question? Uh, no, Martha. Okay, so Martha asked if we're doing all the dinosaurs during this live stream. No, that would take too long. Uh, also, throughout the uh, throughout August and September, we've been doing live streams crocheting dinosaurs, and I think this is the only dinosaur left that we haven't crocheted in a live stream. Except for a T-Rex. We didn't do a T-Rex. But maybe we'll do a T-Rex today. Who knows? But yeah, we're not going to go... We're not going to make them all during this live stream because that would just take a little too long. And, uh, yeah. But we can make... Usually we can make, like, two per live stream. That. There's our head. Look at how cute that head is. Okay? Can I just say, when I first designed this pattern, this was almost what the head was for the first design. And I was just like... Look at that. It's super cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to like toot my own horn. I'm just really proud of this pattern. It looks so cute. It's so simple. Really fun to make. Uh yeah. I'm just a, I'm a fan of crocheting. There I said it. <sighs> I admit it. I like to crochet. Fine. You got me. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, we're on the next round. Now we're adding, oh, we're on the next page actually. We're making the arm now. The little triceratops pattern is actually free, Vicky. Um, that one you can just find at clubcrochet.com slash triceratops. Uh, and that one's actually a totally a, f a free pattern. You don't even need a membership with it. But you have a membership now, so you should just have access to it. All right, we're making the arms now. The arms are so much fun. And I know it's kind of funny. Right after making the head, you got to make the arms. This pattern is very condensed. Like, because, you know, I mean, to make it really tiny like this, there's only so many stitches that I have to work with. So I had to, like... Like every single round, almost every single round has something fun to do in it. It's like this round that we're on, we're making the arms. Last round we were decreasing a lot and then we're making the lips before that. It's a very condensed pattern. Uh, I'm really, I really like it a lot. <laughs> Fro Froggy Dragon's mom was like, oh wow, he likes crochet. Never would have guessed. <laughs> great uh when am i going to stitches west louis because i'm thinking of coming to meet me oh cool five world explorers i'm actually going to be at stitches south or stitches socal i don't know what it's called let me look up the information for it exactly but i'm doing that in november um yeah it's stitches Hold on. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put it in the chat for you. I'll have a booth here. There we go. So yeah, in uh, 
in November, November, what is it? November 10th to the 11th, uh, 10th to the 13th, I'll be doing Stitches SoCal in Pasadena um, in Southern California, uh, where I'll be doing, uh, I'll have a booth and I'll be selling little crocheted kits and stuff like that. They're really fun, you should totally join it. Uh, and then I'll also be at Stitches West, which is in, I think it's gonna be in Sacramento in uh, March? Yeah, I think it's in March. I'm pretty sure it's in March. So yeah, both of those events I'll be at. If you wanna come to those events, they're really fun. I mean, they're knitting and crochet conventions, so there's a lot more knitting than there is crochet, uh, but yeah, it's a fun little event. There's a bunch of booths so you could like, you know, find new crafts to get really into. Uh, there's a bunch of classes at it. It's a cool event. Highly suggested. I want to start doing more events though. I really want to start doing, um, I kind of want to start doing, what are those, uh, like Comic-Con, not Comic-Con obviously because Comic-Con would be like really hard to get into. But those kind of conventions, I really want to start getting into that. It's just kind of like, you know, just another thing to get into, though. What is my Twitch handle? My Twitch handle, here, I'll comment right here. It's this. There you go. Louise Loops. L-O-U-I-E-S-L-O-O-P-S. That is my Twitch handle. I don't do much there yet though. So, just heads up. Oh, this this Raptor's looking pretty cute. Not going to lie. Ooh, it is such a close vote right now between two options for what to add to this guy. And honestly, I don't really know how to make either of those options, so we're just gonna have to, uh... We're just gonna have to make it up. We'll have to figure it out as we go. Do I know how to knit? No, I don't. I don't know how to knit. My fiance is a an incredible knitwear designer. Seriously, she's amazing at knitwear design. Uh... So she does all the knitting for the house, and I do all, most of the crochet. She does some crochet, but usually, usually she's knitting. She's working on a design right now for a um, this sweater with like these really intricate color work designs in it. It's so cute. I, I'm like, every time, every round she gets through it, I'm like, wow, that looks great. Oh, Onyx. Onyx says that they want to make their own patterns one day. You know, I'm actually working next year. Uh, one of the things that I really want to put into effort in effort into next year is working on design tutorials. So like, here's how you, here's how I go about designing my amigurumi. Here's what I think about for my stitches. Uh, I've got a whole series. I've got like, I think I've got like 15 videos planned of just like, here's how to design these different, uh, different patterns or here's, here's, important tips and tricks to think about when you're designing patterns. Um, I want to get really into that next year, uh, as well as doing, you know, patterns and just regular tutorials and stuff like that. But yeah, those should be out pretty soon. They, they might help you out a lot. We're actually almost done with this Raptor already, which is pretty cool. We're going to be going till about maybe five or six today. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to go past six because that's just a long time to live stream. It gets warm. What brand of wool did I use for the volcano bag? Good question, Caniz. Um, I think that the uh, the wool I used was Lion Brands Wool Ease. I'm like. 85% sure that it's Lion Brand's Wool Ease because that's that's a wool that I really do like to use. Um, 
actually missed a, just barely missed a stitch there. So we're gonna try that again. I love crocheting octopi too. All right, I think that's the end of those. One, two, three. Okay, now is the difficult part of this pattern where we're gonna have to make a, um, we're gonna have to make the legs. Uh, Lunar six, no, unfortunately the raptor pattern is not up yet. It will be up hopefully by tomorrow, definitely by the end of the weekend. Uh, I have it like that close to being done. I just, I have to finish the pictures. I need to finish the, um, uh, the time codes for the video and I need to get it all uploaded onto the website. So those three tasks are kind of just time consuming, especially because simultaneously I'm working on the volcano pattern so that the volcano can be up as well. Uh, and then after I finish doing all that stuff, I get to work on the ebook for this because we have, and I'm trying to work on a new ebook so that you can get all of these dino patterns together in like one, you know, one ebook. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. I'd like to get it published as like a, you know, self-publishing my own ebook that you can actually purchase a physical copy. I just can't figure it out totally yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There was a publisher that reached out to me. I'm not allowed to talk about too much about it, but it, they offered me a pretty bad deal and I said no. So I want to maybe like approach some publishers, see if that's an option or just self publish. Just figure it out. But you know, that's just another project. I've got about a million of them. There we go. Got that toe out there. Look at that. Okay, so there's one leg done. This is the hardest part of the pattern though, for sure. The legs are tricky. Two. Three. I believe it's three between legs. Do I use a light box for my photos? Yes, I do. I'm actually in it right now. This is my light box. Um, here, if I zoom it out, actually, you can kind of see, see the corners there? You can kind of see how we're in a light box. Aha! Cooper has chosen a name for the Stiegel. I'm gonna write it down right now before it's too late. Hey, again, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, what are you doing? Like it, like this video. Like, like, like it. <laughs> I'm not crazy. All right, hold on. I gotta write this down. So we're making, we're naming the Stiegel Garfunkel. God, great name, great choice. Cutting a little name tag out for it. So we don't forget the names. We'll fold this like that. And its name is Gar Funkel. What a great name. Uh, named by. I, I keep doing, every time Cooper gives me a new donation, I add another O to his name in the background. I think we're on six O's now. Yeah, that's a lot. Soon I'm gonna have a, one that's like this long just because the back is just gonna say Cooper. <laughs> There's Garfunkel. Cool. I sound like I was, like I was breaking? What do you mean? Is the sound weird right now? Let me look at it. Okay, I think the sound's working right, but who knows. Oh, let's end this vote by the way. 
Oh, what a choice. What a choice. Okay, I do not know how we're going to make a cowboy hat for this dude, but we're definitely going to try. We are going to try to make a cowboy hat. And it's going to be very cute. Or it'll be a complete disaster. And regardless, we'll be here together for it. Yeah, I was great. Like this video, please. I agree. The lavender is so pretty. Actually, can I get your opinion on something? I, I would love your opinion on something. Because I recorded the video for this. Okay, so here's the deal. I recorded the video for this raptor using this same lavender color. Which is why I was like, oh wow, they chose lavender. Pretty surprising. Uh, so, uh, but... So I took pictures of the pattern, and I took pictures in lavender, but I also took pictures with a dark green raptor, so that I could like, you know, I, I wanted, I don't know which one to use for the pattern, because, like, on one hand, it would be nice to have the pictures for the pattern be the same color as the color that I use in the video tutorial. However, it's a little bit easier, I think, to see the stitches on the green one and I think that people might click the video more and it might be more recognizable that it's a raptor if it's green let me show you the the green one just so you can see it this is what the green one looks like so we're almost done obviously but this is what a green one looks like it looks very I feel like it looks like a dinosaur you know so I feel like people would click this one over clicking this one just because it's more clear that it's a dinosaur and the stitches maybe are a little bit more like easier to see but I don't know what do you think green or lavender for the pictures specifically of the pattern I'd love to see what you guys think there no one two three four perfect all right, just about done. It does look like it wants a hug. I, I, yeah, I kind of try to bend the, the hands in that position so it always looks like he wants a hug because it's so cute. It does kind of look like a baby T-Rex. Autumn says lavender. See, it's a tricky, tricky question. Green, lavender, a lot of lavenders. Okay, sunshine says green. You can see the stitches better on lavender. Thank you for the, thank you, Victoria. I appreciate that. Okay, we got the tail done. Now we got to just uh, stuff it and sew it closed. Oh, you're gonna, you guys, you are going to love how I do this part. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this part. I don't know what was going on in my brain when I figured this part out of this pattern, because I've never done this on a crochet pattern before, but I really needed to make a tail for this raptor, right? And I didn't want the tail to be sewn on afterwards, because I really like my patterns to have like no sewing at all. So what I do instead is I increase out on the back, so it goes out, open out like that, and it stays going straight on the front. So you can see how the increases made it kind of like bigger on the back, right? And then what we do is we leave six stitches open on the bottom, and we thread this end of the yarn. This part's so cool. Thread this end of the yarn. We skip six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. We start in this one. And we just seam these together to make the tail. This is like a totally new technique for me. I'm sure people have done this in the past. But for me, I've never done this before. And uh, it, I feel like it unlocked a whole new way to design amigurumi because I could do this for like a shark fin. I could do this for, um, yeah, like anything that I need, like a, per, a protruding like shape. I could, I could use this exact same technique for, and I wouldn't need to sew anything on. So it'll like save me a lot of sewing together. And then you just follow the line back and look at this. See the little lines there? It turns it into little V's. So it looks like single crochets. You can't even tell where the seam is. 
it's super cool. It's a super cool technique. And you just go boop. And obviously, like I said, the video tutorial for this is coming out soon where I go into detail about how to not only crochet this pattern, but also like, you know, how to sew it together and any kind of tips and tricks. I got all that in the video tutorial. So that should be coming out ASAP, but I'm going to keep it for members exclusively for a little while. And then eventually I'll probably make it public. Okay, now we need to stuff the body up a little bit. We actually don't need too much stuffing here. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure it's in the tail. A little bit more stuffing. Just a little bit. Like that much. A finger puppet hole. It could be a finger puppet hole, but that's not what we're doing. We're going to now sew this closed. This is a small dino, just a little dinosaur. Hey, Starfalls. How are you? Oh yeah, dude, this, this pattern doesn't even take an hour. In my opinion, I think I could make this whole pattern in like half an hour if I'm, you know, if I'm speed running it. I actually think that's enough. We're just gonna pull it all the way closed and like this. I, I honestly think that, so people really like the Triceratops pattern and I get it, you know, it's a really good pattern, but I actually think that this, this one is the best of the dinos because it's not only quick and easy to make like the, like those other ones, but it's so much fun to make because everything is like so different from an, each other. I really think people are going to love this pattern when it comes out, when I finally release it. Can I make a big one? We totally can. I could use like blanket yarn or something to make a big one. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so there's our rafter. Look at how cute, look at him. Oh my God. That is too cute. Dude, dude, too cute. Okay, let's get some yarn for a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Okay, so what do you think? Cowboy hat, left? It's kind of like an orangey red or, or like a brown brown. Which one do you think would be better for the cowboy hat? I'm, I'm leaning to this orange one because I think it's more interesting of a color. This is kind of boring, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I think we're gonna stick with the same size yarn and I'm just gonna have to like figure out the cowboy hat above it. It might just like barely fit his head because he's so tiny. Unless I do a, oh, ooh, ooh, everybody's saying brown, brown. Okay, brown, brown, it do be like that. Right, orange, oh my gosh, you guys are, t you're splitting the vote. Okay, do we ask in a poll? Okay, let's ask in a poll. Let's keep it, let's keep it going, here we go. Oopsies, ignore that, ignore that poll. Okay, which one of those two? I just put it in the, I just put the vote in the chat. You got like barely any time to vote on this. Um, we do need to think about how we're gonna do this though. I think the way I'm gonna do it is if I do like a little long and then we'll go down. We, you know what, let me pull up some pictures of cowboy hats. 
so that we could, you know, have something to work off of. Let's see what we got while you guys are voting on that. Cowboy hat. This is what I, I often, here's a little design tip. If you're trying to look up images for something for your design, look up the name of whatever you want. So for me, I'm doing cowboy hat on Google images. And then, uh, and then after that say cartoon. So for me, it was cowboy hat cartoon and you get a better, like, like these are the images for cowboy hat cartoon, you know? So they're going to be a little bit better for, uh, as a reference than just typing in a uh, cowboy hat because then you'll just get real pictures of cowboy hats. And I think this is a little bit more clear, a little bit better for what we need. Oh, totally, we need to add a star. Oh, ha yes, yes. Yes to the vest idea. Whatever color you guys don't choose for the cowboy hat, we're doing that for the vest, I think. Okay, that looks like a good vote. Brown. All right, brown it do be like that. All right. We're going to keep this picture right here in the corner. And let's figure out how to crochet a cowboy hat together. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make... A baseline I think what we're gonna start with is kind of actually how we did the start of this guy so we're gonna start with two, three and four I'm just gonna go kind of quick this is not a tutorial this is just a design on the fly And then we're gonna go three. Cause I want it to be a little bit ovally on the top, you know? Instead of it being like a perfect circle, it's kind of like the top of a cowboy hat's got a little bit of an oval system going on. So we're gonna start with that. Two, three. So this is gonna give us kind of an oval shape. That's the start, see? And we don't want to make it too big, so we can't really increase too much, but we can increase a little bit. Specifically, I think it's probably best if we increase twice in the back of the cowboy hat so that the back is a little bit bigger than the front and it kind of turns it from an oval to like kind of a, a bit more of a triangular shape. Yeah, we need a sheriff star for sure. One, two. Yeah, we're gonna put an increase back here. At least one, maybe two though. Two. Eh, let's do two. Let's do two increases. We just don't wanna increase it too much for sure because, you know, it needs to be pretty small to fit the head of our, of our little sheriff. Might also be nice to do like a that. Yeah, it might be nice to have crocheted only in the front loops and then the next round do the back loops. I mean, we probably won't need that, but it would create a better ridge on the top. Yeah, that, exactly. I'm thinking the back loop only. No, actually, actually, Victoria, I'm thinking the other way around. I'm actually thinking, you know, we're going to just do it. If I did the back loop only, that would maybe work. Um, but it would, I think it would show a little too much of that, like, stripe along the top. And that's not really what we got going on. So I think maybe what's better is actually to do the front loop only. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the front loop only for this round. And then for the next round, we'll do a single crochet in each stitch, but we'll work into 
the unused back loop from uh, our first round and that will give us it'll like pull it in really tight we did that on the volcano as well it's a pretty good system for making like a a hard like right turn a hard a hard 90 degree angle but without it like looking like a 90 degree angle we'll see how this goes do we want to do an increase in the front or not is this big enough for the cowboy hat yeah because if we go too big he's gonna have a big cowboy hat and we don't want that or do we do increase there yeah okay fine we're doing an increase in the front that's the last increase though All right, so now we finished that round. Now I'm gonna do both loops and also, wait, did I start this too late? Oh, I think I did, but whatever. Let's do this, just this first one and then this one, boom. And then the back loop, boom. So I'll do both at the same time, and let's see if this works the way I think it'll work. I think so. A big cowboy hat might look really cute. Yeah, that's true. If it does get like too big, that's honestly not that big of a deal. It'll be very cute regardless. Oh wait, this one's supposed to be, because it's an increase, so this one actually is supposed to be back here, like that. And then this one is in this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops, that was an increase. Like a dead. See how it's like giving us like a, see that? It's going pop pop. That's the sound effect it's making. I don't know, you can't hear it probably, but it's going pop pop. Oh dude, Bash, thank you so much. Bash just upgraded their membership. Dude, you rock, I really appreciate that, thank you. How is Jimbo doing? You know, Jimbo's been very sneezy the past couple days, but he's kind of always sneezy, so. It's just kind of the way he is. Uh, and yes, he's been very cuddly, very meowy. Last night, he like had a fit. Out, out of nowhere, he was just like, meow, 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 hey, hang out with me. And then when I was like, okay, what? What do you want? What do you want? Because I was editing a video while he was doing it. He licked me so much that I was just soaking in, in cat spit. It was gross. <laughs> it was really nasty. It was really sweet, though. But he just kept licking me. I think he was, maybe he wanted to eat me. And here's our last one. Oops, that's right, because this is an increase. So wait, hold on. This one is actually supposed to go back. Huh? There. Like that. I think if I was doing a tutorial for this, cowboy hat I would use yarn that's not so uh, rigid I think I'd use something a little bit more soft like a wool just because I think it might be a little bit easier to just see and explain but it'll probably look pretty good okay so now we bend it in a little bit and watch this if I pinch it in like this pull the inside in and then I pinch it a little bit we'll get like kind of a shape that I think we're gonna want like that because this will go on the top like that it's gonna go down a little bit and then it's gonna go really wide oh my god it is gonna be a pretty cow big cowboy hat but it's gonna be very cute how have I been lately honestly I've been doing great I uh, love our new house I love uh, yeah I just I'm just happy I'm a I'm a happy boy I'm usually a happy boy though oh my gosh also completely outside the point and uh, like 99% of you guys are not gonna care about this at all. But I've been kicking butt in Super Smash Brothers like it ain't no thing. I'm on fire. I went like 15 games straight last night winning. It was amazing. 
it was a good game. Or good night. And then I stopped playing. I was like, oh, I'm incredible. I'm unstoppable. I don't ever have to play again tonight. Maybe if we do want to make it bigger then. If we want to make it like extra big or just a silly. Nah. Nah. One live stream we can be attempting to knit. I do like that idea. That would be kind of fun. I don't think we need to increase this up. Well, maybe it is a little straight. Well, uh, it, you know, it's a cowboy hat. It's kind of straight down a little bit. And then once we get, maybe we do one more round here. And then we'll do a, so that'll be the end of that round. Okay, we'll do another round. I am gonna add a little bit of increasing in this last round. Just a, just a little bit. And before we do the brim. And then we'll do the brim. Uh, the star's gonna be easy. I actually have a tutorial for that. I don't think we actually need a vest. I think we can just add the star to his body and then give him a belt, maybe? That would look really cute, I think. Um, but yeah, we're gonna increase in the back. Uh, did we do, let's do two increases back here. So we get up to a solid amount of stitches, maybe? One, two. And then we're gonna go wide. Okay, one, two, and then we'll go out to the front. Looks like Davy Crockett. Davy, Davy Crockett. That. I think we want the front one to be. Yeah, we'll do it here. And then one. That's the end of the round. Okay. This goes pinched in, that, that looks like the beginnings of a cowboy hat, right? This is the front, this is the back, goes like these. He looks kind of funny right now. And then it's gonna go wide. We're gonna do the brim next. The brim's gonna be interesting. Well, obviously, we're gonna work only in the front loops for this next round. I'm gonna start by actually doing a slip knot, a chain one, and then start our process. And we're gonna work only in the front loops and we're going to do, do we just do single crochets or do we do half double crochets? Let's do half doubles. See how that looks. Let's see, if we skip one, how does that look? One, that might be good. Let's try that. We might undo this round and do it again. Only one way to find out. Oh, a neck bandana. Yeah, maybe. We might be able to do that. That kind of be, that sounds like a cute idea. Let's just do, let's just do half double crochets all the way around and see how that looks. I was gonna do some increases here and there, but I honestly, I think just doing half double crochets in the front loops only will be enough. So that the sides can go like get folded up and then the back gets kind of, back in the front gets kind of folded down. I'll explain, I'll explain once I finish this here. Let's see how this looks. So that goes up and these go like that. Uh, I think I need a bigger, well, just a, it just feels like a tiny brim. Like this is what it looks like in the back. The sides are gonna go up, back goes down like that. 
It a bit looks like a... Well, actually, that's not too bad. Actually, that's... That's actually... That's pretty good. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let's finish this up. We might need to go back and add increases or something in it, but... We'll use that orange-brown... For the um, for the the a line along the outside too. We're gonna do an extra one there, and we'll slip stitch to first half double. Actually, maybe we'll just keep it, and then we'll connect it. No, that'll be too clear. Let's just slip stitch. So the first one, like that. Front goes down, sides go up. Kind of giving us a fedora feel right now to me. Well, actually, that looks pretty cowboy -y. I kind of wish I did one less round in the top because it's kind of like a top hat on him right now. So maybe if we go back, undo that second round of just single crochets, because, you know, that's like a little bit of a top hat. You know, that's what we're going to do. I don't like it. I think it's too far. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo. I know. I know. But this is going to be better in the long run. I, I'm telling you. We're going to go all the way back to the round after that. Yeah, to this round here. And we're gonna add our increases that we wanted to here. One, two, we'll do one. And this will be a little shorter, but I think it'll look like a better cowboy hat. Nope, you don't have to be a member to enter the giveaway. Anybody can enter the giveaway. He needs a good looking cowboy hat or else the, the villains won't take him seriously. We're going to do just a few more stitches. Just one more, actually. Well, maybe two. Just so that the end of the round is a little bit more on the side instead of the back. I mean, on, instead of on the front. But you see, now it's going to be shorter, but I think it'll look better as a cowboy hat. Now I'm starting to regret it. No, let's keep it. Let's do this. Uh, and then now let's try that little system. So we do a slip stitch. We'll just do one. We're going to start in the same stitch this time. One. Two. Let's see how this goes. Three. Four. Yeah, anybody can enter the giveaway, for sure. Oh no! Tina! Tina, you got a slip disc? Oh, I hope you feel better soon. I have a uh, herniated disc on one of my back, so I know, I know what it feels like to have a, a back pain, but it sucks to know that it was like a specific event that happened oh i'm sorry i hope you feel better soon oh yeah this i think this was a good move guys i think going back like this was a good move i hope you feel better soon though tina Ooh, how 
hard would it be to make a triceratops big enough to sit on the saddle? So, oh, just, I actually, I think it's, I think it's, the problem is not that it needs to be bigger. I think it needs to be smaller to fit on the saddle. Um, we're going to add an extra one right here. Bend that in like that. I might even sew it in like that. Front goes down, sides go up. Like that. And he's got a cowboy hat. That's a cowboy hat. Right? That feels cowboy hatty. Especially once he's got a little star on him. He's gonna look clashy. Scariest sheriff this side of the Mississippi. This side of the Jurassic. Yeah, I actually got that little dude with the saddle uh, in here somewhere, so we'll try it out. I think you can fit pretty well on it. Where, did it. where is he, actually? We just had him out. Oh, here he is. Oops. So like this? Actually, that, that does kind of work. He'd have to be a little... I think if he was a little bit smaller, it'd be even better, but it's not bad. Back loops. And then that one. Hide it in a little bit. And. All right, let's make this work. Front goes down a little bit, like that. Back also needs to go down, but the sides need to go up. That's the trick. So, like that. It's a little, it seems like it's a little long, but I don't think it is. I think it looks, he, he looks like Indiana Jones a little bit. Uh, not that it's, that's a bad thing, though. Indiana Jones is awesome. So I'm cool with it. Uh, do we want to sew it on, or do we want to keep it... No, let's sew it on. Let's get it sewn on. I'm just going to kind of sew it on. Just me? Just me says that they want to shout it as, as the my biggest fan. Wow. Biggest fan? You must be giant. How tall are you? Like eight foot? It's crazy. Very tall fan. <laughs> but there's your shout out. I hope that counts. Does that work? I felt that felt that felt right. I felt like it worked. This is the front right here. So we want to go right there. We'll come out. I don't know. Earish on the back. And and we'll just sew on a few stitches around the outside. Just a couple of them. We just want to keep it in place while we're doing it. Like that and then out like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that works. Here, down here. Let's do one on the opposite side, like right there. Might need to sew one on the back too. We'll do one, one on the front. Right here-ish. I'm just kind of making this up as I go, by the way. I don't know if you could tell. That's just kind of how life works, though. I'm kind of always just making it up as I go. All right, front down, sides up. 
back down. Hands up. I think this worked for a cowboy hat. If you ask me. Howdy, partner. How do we look? That feels right. That feels good to me. It's kind of hard to get it to, to, to stay right, but it's not bad. It is not bad. I mean, I guess we could do one more round around the outside. We could add that, but I don't want to because I don't want to. I think what would have been better is instead of adding an extra round around the outside, do double crochets instead of half double crochets. That might have worked a little bit better. All right, let's get a star made. Luckily, we have our yellow or our gold yarn already prepared from the vote earlier. We need a... a you're gonna, you're gonna like this. I actually have this star pattern on the website. There's a way, I found out a way to make a really like super tiny star really, really easy. But first let's stuff this knot in there. There you go. All right. We're gonna need names for this dude up too. Oh, you know what? Before I get the star going, actually let's get the name suggestion going. Okay, so we're gonna vote, uh, we're gonna, I need your suggestions for names. I'm gonna build a uh, Google Sheet really quick and post it in the chat, and that's where you can add all the names. It'll just take me a sec. Name our Raptor. Hold on, almost done. Okay. Anyone with the link can edit. All right, I put it in the chat. You can you should be able to name the raptor by clicking that link. Now, let's make the sheriff star. <laughs> I agree with Zoe. I agree with Zoe. I don't think we need a gun. He's a raptor. Why would a raptor need a gun for it? He's got his cute little claws. He don't need no stinking gun. All right. So this is how I do little tiny stars. We do a magic loop. We I think what it was was we chain two, we pull tight, and then we slip stitch into the center. And then we just do that five times. I think that was how we did it. Chain two, one, two, pull tight, slip stitch one, boom. There's two. Let's see how this works. Oh, forgot to pull tight. Pull tight, slip stitch. Three, one, two, I know, and I know, you're kind of like, how is this gonna work? It does, it should work. One, two, three, four. Let's pull it a little tighter already. And one more. One, two, pull tight, slip stitch into the center. And then we just pull this nice and tight, and it should just make our star shape. Maybe I did it wrong. No, that looks like a little star. Yeah, that's a little star. And then we just cut this long enough so that we can use these two ends to sew it on. That, and then we'll just need to pinch it a little bit to keep it shape, but that should work for our sheriff star. Go right into the center with it, like that. Pull this one tight like that. Pinch all these little corners. Give it a more star shape. Uh, the start was a little wonky. We might want to make another one, but let's see. 
Not like it took long for us to make. Yeah, I don't like this little edge there, but it is so close. That That's basically what we're looking at. Let's do it again, though. We can do it better. Okay. And I, I know where I messed up. Normally we chain two, but the first one we just need to chain one and then pull it tight. And then we do the slip stitch. And we should try pulling it even tighter. One, two, pull really tight to really make that point. And then it'll also make it a little smaller. Slip stitch one. One, two, tight, slip stitch. Two, tight, slip stitch. One more, right? Yeah. One, two, tight, slip stitch. Close it up. Cut the yarn. Put the gold to the side. Pull this out. Tighter. Thread this into the center, and let's see if this one worked. Does this one look better? We wonder aloud. Yeah, I think that one's a little bit better. Look at that tiniest star. Tiny star. It's like really tiny. We need to tighten this one too a little bit. Tight, tight, tight. Oops. Might even use pliers to really pinch these ends a little bit better. Well, I guess I don't really need them. That's a very tiny star though. Very tiny. On the body, very clear. I think it's pretty clear it's a star too. So we're gonna go through right here with one end, come out somewhere on the back. Jimbo wants to say hi. Yeah? Let me get this one. Hold on, buddy. We'll have a Jimbo uh, intermission in just a sec, so that so that he can say hello, and he won't be complaining all live stream, like he always does. And this one goes. I'm actually just gonna go right into the center of that stitch. I think that's a better spot for it. Come out on this other bit, a doobity gobbity, like. That. Oh my gosh. Sheriff Raptor. Coming in cute. Adorable. I like the star. You can hear him? Okay. Hold on. We just need to add... One more thing to this and then we can be done with our raptor. I can put a vote up for the next thing. And then while you guys are voting, we can do a Jimbo intermission. We need that orange yarn though. Where's that orange yarn? Here it is. Just for a belt. I think he needs a little belt. We don't even need to crochet it. I'm just gonna use a strand of yarn for it. It's gonna be really simple, simple belt. We're just gonna go like that. Like, oh, actually maybe one further down, like right this one. Like that. We're gonna go around town. Back around to the other side. Go through like this. All right. Just a little belt. Really simple. Just adds a little bit to them to make them look more uh, official, I think. What do we think? Do we like our Sheriff Raptor? I think I like our Sheriff Raptor.
We got to create the Sheriff Raptor's mortal enemy. You know? The bad guy that comes into town that the Sheriff needs to deal with. So I think it needs to be a T-Rex. I'm actually going to make the executive decision that we are going to crochet a T-Rex after this. But you guys get to choose the color. Maybe the opposite of lavender? Because, you know, he needs a he needs someone... He needs an outlaw. He needs an outlaw. Oh my god, he's so cute, though. Wow, I can't wait to see what names you guys are giving him. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Wow. Wow. Sheriff Raptor. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. Quick Jimbo break. Quick Jimbo break. Jimbo! I know. Come on. Come on. Come on. You have to say hi to your adoring fans. Come here. We're going to switch the camera so they can see you. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Whoa. You hear, hear how he, hear how snotty he is right now? Hi, buddy. Thank you. Wow. You're so sweet. Can I say hi to people? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You just want attention? <laughs> hi. Hi, buddy. What do you want? Say hi. He's very licky. Beautiful kitty. He likes to be held the weirdest ways. Sometimes I just like... Sometimes he'll meow, meow, meow until I hold him like this, and then he'll just sit here like this forever like for half an hour are you gonna sneeze what okay i think he wants to play well we can't play right now i'm getting a lot of headbutts hi buddy you okay yeah yeah Okay, say one more thing before we get back to crocheting. Yeah? Oh my god, he's... You done? He doesn't know what he wants. Oh, you do? What do you want? Attention. Attention! Attention, all people! This is a cat! Okay, we're gonna put Jimbo out. That was our Jimbo intermission. Say bye. What are you doing? Okay, say bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. All right. Have fun. Go play with Phoebe. Go play with Phoebe. Or else he's going to start stealing all the yarn and stuff like that. Okay. Hi, Creations by Ollie. We were taking a Jimbo break. Just a little Jimbo break. Currently, we are crocheting this raptor. We actually just finished crocheting this raptor with a cowboy hat and a sheriff star. And now we're going to make his outlaw. Which is going to be a T-Rex. In what color? Let's find out. Our color options are... Let's see, we got teal. Blue. Let's see, what other colors can we do? We could do a pink T-Rex. We could do this green. Um, we could do this darker green. Uh, and then we got this like light orange. Hmm. We need two colors. I'm kind of leaning towards teal and dark green. I mean, teal and the light green. Or we can do the dark green and orange. That's kind of like, blam. Or blue and pink. Let's actually, yeah, let's let's put it down to these three. So we're going to be voting on the main color being the top one here. Secondary color being the bottom one. 
okay? But we're gonna choose the main color first, being the top one. So we're gonna go teal, dark green, or blue is your options. Teal, dark green, or blue? Uh, main color of the T-Rex? Teal? What were the options? Teal, dark green, or blue? There you go. There's your vote. You guys vote on that. I really have to go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, TMI, maybe. Uh, you guys vote on that. I'll be right back. I'm going to just do this. I'll be right back. Whee! I'm back. I'm back. That was quick. You know, it's, it's nice being a guy. Ooh, the votes are coming in. I'm not saying the P word, guys. I'm not saying the P word. Hello, I'm back. No, I'm not saying it. You can't get me to say it. No. Nuh-uh. Am I doing it? You're not gonna get me. Remember that one time you did get me? Not this time. Not this time. No, no, no. Alright, looks like the vote's coming in for teal. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it. You can't... You can't trick me. All right, we also gotta pull up the pattern for this. And we gotta get rid of all this ends. And we need our white yarn. Can you guys hear me? Can you see me? Fine, fine. You get one. Pickle. There. Happy. You know, I don't like pickles. They're gross. Ew. Always making me say pickle. Damn it, I've said it three times now. Okay, we need a the T-Rex pattern. Hold on, I gotta pull it up. In the meantime, I can make the teeth. There it is. God, I love my website. I love this website. Hold on. I gotta log in. Ugh. Okay, well, once we're logged in, we'll have the pattern. Okay. 
We're gonna start with the teeth. I know that I gotta make those. One, two. Winner of, by the way, winner of the giveaway gets our sheriff here. And the winner will be chosen at random. So good luck. One more. Yeah, they're all, they're gonna be slapping, right, Sandal Soup? They're gonna be slapping each other like, Bleh! All right, we got the teeths made already. Okay, I want to see what names you guys have been suggesting for the, for our raptor. Let's see what names you got. Oh wow, you guys got a lot of names so far. I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> right, share, share. Sheriff Radper. <laughs> Just Wyatt. Is that is Wyatt a uh, a reference to um, Westworld? Whoever put that. Oh, we gotta finish the vote too. Okay, let's keep crocheting. I keep crocheting. Uh, we gotta make a tail. I feel like they should be writing, yeah, Triceratops or something like that. We only have one mount right now because someone, someone won Buttercup, Buttercup, our original. Uh, Triceratops mount. So all we have right now is an Ankylosaurus mount, but but our sheriff can go on top of that for right now, I think. Yeehaw! No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. He doesn't stay. He doesn't stay right. He needs a bigger, a bigger crochet mount. Uh, oh, that's right. We're making the tail first. Two, three. How are we doing on likes? If we get enough, we're gonna do another giveaway. I don't know how to check that though. Oh, there it is. Oh wow, actually that's pretty good. 194 likes, that's pretty good. I'll tell you what, if we get to 300 likes by the end of this live stream, I'll give away the T-Rex that we're making too. So if you can get us to 300 likes by the end of this live stream, we'll do a double giveaway today, and you'll win. And 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 I'll be giving away this T-Rex and the Raptor to whoever wins. And obviously, it's a giveaway. You don't have to like, you know, pay for it or anything. It'll be free shipping and everything like that. And we'll choose them at random. One and two. If you haven't entered for the giveaway yet, you should get on that. Let me see how many people have entered for it. Last time we did a giveaway, there was only like 50 people that entered. Yeah, and there's still there's still only 50 people have entered. You should enter that giveaway. It's free. Oh man. Get this out. One. And then get in there. Ah! The stitch is fighting me. What a great antagonist we got here. Bah. There we go. I'm not sure if we're going to give this T Rex spikes or not because we are going to give him 
Like if we give him a a top or a cowboy hat, he can't wear spikes, you know. And his cowboy hat should be like black, I think, because he's the villain. Big turtle nerd, how you doing? Welcome to the live stream. We might give him some other like features to keep him because since he's not going to get a sheriff star maybe we'll give him like eyebrows or something we're going to crochet this pretty quick too i'm going to try to go quick on this one because i don't want to be cursed i don't want to go past six if i can avoid it I've got a new friend coming over tonight, you guys. I've got a new friend coming over. They're gonna, we're gonna play Stitched. I'm gonna show them my my board game. He's in the middle of making a, a board game right now, or a tabletop game board game. It's more like a tabletop game. Uh, and you know, I've made Stitched and I've made Lava Run, so I wanted to show him it. And also, I just wanted to share share it with him. Ooh, one eye and a scar. Ooh, Echo Cat, that's good. Oh, what a neck crack. One of these, one of these times, you guys are gonna see me paralyze myself on live stream. It's gonna be wonderful. We're gonna go viral. <laughs> oh, or a villainous mustache. Oh my gosh. These are some very good ideas. I think we should vote on that. So the options would be a villainous mustache, eyebrows, a, uh, one eye. We need one more. We need one more suggestion for a very simple way to customize this T-Rex to make him more uh, villainous. All right, see you later. See you later, Ollie. Thanks for joining. A monocle. That's an interesting idea. A golden tooth, maybe? Actually, I like golden tooth. Oh, an eye patch. Okay, yeah, we'll do an eye patch instead of the, uh, instead of the, uh, what were the options? The single eye. Okay, so we got the vote. We're going to do this vote now. Because I don't know yet. Uh, customizing the T-Rex with eye patch, eyebrows, mustache, or a golden tooth. All right, there's your vote. Another vote out and about. What do you, how should we customize our T-Rex here? Some of these I need to know ASAP because we're going to be, you know, making the face halfway through, so. I knew it was going to be a hard choice between the mustache and the eye patch. They're both so perfect. And again, if we get, well, what did I say? 300 likes. If we can get to 300 likes by the end of this live stream, I'll do the double giveaway so you can win the uh, T-Rex in, uh, in addition to the Raptor. So it'll be one giveaway for the Raptor, one giveaway for the T-Rex, and it will be a different person for each. All right, so now we're on the head. That's easy. 
one. I haven't made I haven't made a T-Rex in a while, so I'm gonna have to just like figure it out as we go. I did just scratch my eye. That is true. If the eyebrows or the golden tooth win, I'll do both. Either one. If the eyebrows or the golden tooth win, I'll give it both eyebrows and a golden tooth. Otherwise, we're doing just a mustache or just the eye patch. We don't want to overdo them. You know, you never want to you never want to do too much. There's always a fine line. All right, we're doing three increases here. This T-Rex pattern is on the website, by the way. So if you want the T-Rex pattern, it is already on the website. Again, the Raptor will be on the website uh, uh, probably tomorrow, but by the end of the weekend. Shout out to Jane. Bah, 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 bah. How do you enter the giveaway? There should be a pinned uh, a pinned comment at the top of the um, at the top of the chat, Victoria that you can uh, use to enter the giveaway, or you can uh, go into the description of this video and there should be a, uh, uh, a link in the description of the video that says like giveaway and then, yeah. It's just a form that you fill out. It's really just asking you what your name and email is so that I know who to reach out to. Um, but then there's some, there's two other questions. I think one of them, one of them is like, uh, what kind of dinosaurs do you want uh, do you think we should crochet in the future? And then another one is um, what uh, uh, what kind of kits do you want to see in the future? I think is another question I have there. In in two, in twenty twenty three, what kind of crochet kits would you like to see? So. Yeah, definitely. A big, big mustache like Yosemite Sam. Yeah, totally. All right. Ooh, yes, Five Worlds Explorer. Yes, 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 yes. I love that idea. The next big bag should be for the goblinoids. Oh, what would the goblinoids be living in a bag of? see maybe a big goblin with an open mouth or a big goblin that you can open the mouth with that could be kind of fun or what else would they go into then our increase and then one then our increase i'm starting to remember this pattern and single crochets. The hard part about this pattern is doing the color changes in the um, on the body. That part is tough. But we're gonna do it. Do I drink coffee or tea? I do, I drink a lot of uh, coffee and I drink a decent amount of tea. But mostly coffee, although I do drink tea as well. Especially boba, mmm, gotta love boba. Inside of Lord Jack Gurgle. Yeah, maybe like a giant hobgoblin. Like a really big one. One. One, that one, there you go. Two, double crochet. That, cool. And then we have 12 to get to the end of this round. Mm 
five, six. Eh. There we go, 12. Zoe, Zoe says, uh, uh, oh, well, two things. One, Amanda, yes, I will show you how I do invisible color changes uh, once I get to there. Um, but Zoe, uh, yes, I did like your Pine Guard cross stitch on Instagram. That was very cool. I'm a huge fan of the Adventure Zone. Uh, I am excited about uh, Justin's uh, campaign. I will say, I think there's a reason that he hasn't done one yet. So I'm very, like, wary about it because it could go it could be a mess but i kind of like that it could be kind of fun that it's a mess you know so i don't know we'll see we'll, see. well i I'm, I'm excited to see what happens <laughs> you know what i mean one two three i did really like the latest uh ether c it was very good um it kind of unraveled at the end but it was still really good uh I think it was a very good campaign. I I want to see more of it. One, two, three. So we got eleven. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. One more. Eleven. And then single crochets, eight more, one, four, <laughs> can you hear Jumbo meowing in the corner? Yeah, yeah, Sandal Soup can hear him. I know, I know, I know. He can't come in here though, he'll just start messing with all the yarn. And distracting us. And then I'll never finish. Woe is me. One, two, three. All right. Now we're on the mouth. Hold it up. Decrease. I think it'll be a lot quicker making the second hat. You know what I mean? So I that's why I'm like not too stressing on time, but we'll see. One. Two. Oops. One. Two. Okay. I'm covered in Jimbo fur too. And eight. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well. All right. Let's keep going. Hopefully I have enough of this teal yarn. I'm running a little low, but I think we might have enough. Ooh, mustache is winning. Okay. Mustache is going to, you know what? Mustache is going to be tricky because of the big mouth, but we'll figure it out. I might just use like really fuzzy yarn. What color mustache should we do? Maybe like orange? Yeah, maybe we do like a, like really go Yosemite Stam route and do like a big orange mustache. Big fuzzy orange mustache. Ooh, you made a big llama and put it on Discord. Man, Johnny, you crochet so much. I mean, I kind of think we all crochet a lot here, but yeah, Johnny crochets a lot. You're hooked. OK, 
Okay. Almost done with this round. Perfect. One more round of this. And then I think we'll add the face. Yeah. Which is where we'll add our mustache. And, uh, oh, and we need to come up with a name for a T-Rex. Actually, what we should do is we should name our raptor on a vote and then uh, simultaneously take names for the T-Rex. So if you got names for the T-Rex, I'm going to create a little space in that vote, uh, in that same Google Sheet that we had before, where you can choose the name. This is the end of the round. So let's do that really quick, and then I'll add the face. So... There we go. All right, so name suggestion for the T-Rex. We're taking those now. I put it in the same Google Sheet. And I'm putting the link in the chat. Oh, the poll was tied. Oh my gosh, eye patch and mustache were tied. Does that mean I get to choose? I think it does. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of leaning mustache though. I might have to do both. We can always add the eye patch later too, if we wanted to. If we wanted to. I'm not saying we want to. I'm just saying if we did. We could add it later. Jules is home. I hear it. She had she had a dentist appointment. Nice, Cooper. You're on it. Good job, Cooper. Can we just, like, block this person permanently, though? I think we can, hold on. Uh... There we go. One tooth in. Wait. Wait, why does this one want to fight me, though? Oh, whatever. We'll just tie it. That looks good. That looks good. I need to get a dentist appointment out here really bad, too. I haven't, gone to, I've gone, I haven't gone to the dentist in a while. Probably got rotted teeth, so they're all like falling out probably. I just didn't even notice it. Oh my god. Probably been swallowing them in the middle of the night. You know how teeth are. <laughs> you know how teeth are, right? Oops. That was too much. Okay, teeth, boom, and a boom. What are you guys crocheting, by the way? Anybody making anything today? And if you are, what you making? Adding the eyes.
think the eyes go in right here. Or do they go lower than that? Let's look at a pick. Actually, let's look at a finished one. There we go. No, they go down. Lower, lower, right here. One, two, like this. Pretty sure they go like right there. Yeah, I think so. I like that they're really low on the face because they just look so silly there. They actually go one more out. Like right here. Whoa, Sunshine's been making a bunch of Halloween toys. That's cute. Christmas toys for Melissa. A green and pink bumblebee? That's not what bumblebees look like. That's not right. That sounds cute. Green and pink. A reversible unicorn! It's perfect. What a great what a great gift for a baby. I love it. I love it. Alright, so there's the eyes. I know that looks a little wonky, but does it? Nah, we're good with it. I'm chilling. I like it. It looks wonky, but I'm fine with it. Wonk is important sometimes. Sometimes you want a little bit of wonk. Uh, what else did I need to do, though? I'm on round 10, okay. We'll save the mustache because we can sew it on afterwards. Uh, same with the hat and it'll be more fun that way, I think. Oh! Let's fix that up. There we go. That was crazy though. Lachlan! How you doing? Hello from Australia. One, two, three, four, and then we do the arms. The arms, the arms, the arms. The arms for a T-Rex are even shorter than the arms for the Raptor, which is kind of fun. Kind of fun. Come on. Two. Uh, and then we do one more thing we say here. Now we're doing color changes. And this is how you do invisible color changes. You get the yarn set up like this so that there's two strands of yarn on your hook and you're about to finish a single crochet. And then you place the new yarn in between the yarn attached to the hook and the yarn attached to the ball like that. Hold it down with the index finger of your dominant hand. Take your non-dominant index finger, place it in between the two colors and flip the new color under the old one, under the first one, yarn over with that new color and pull it through the two strands of yarn to change colors. And that's the start. Now for the next, we gotta do four stitches here and we want these four stitches to ha have the top be this lighter green and the bottom be this darker green so we switch over so that the darker green is over then we go into the next stitch pull a loop through with the darker green switch over to the lighter green pull through two with that so there's one two there's the third and that'll be the last of that green and then all of that darker green teal after that. And that's how you start doing an invisible color change. We just cut the yarn, put it to the side, and we come back in the next round and we will fill the color in over that. Um, okay. There are seven stitches between arms. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one more, seven. 
Can I mess this part up though? This arm looks very tiny. Eh, it's okay. Hey yo! Hello from Brazil. Wow, they got a check mark. We got a Brazilian crochet channel in the in the group. Hello. How are you? From Brazil, how cool is that? Welcome. All right, I gotta switch this over. We're doing our arms, second arm now. Uh, we went three. Tight. Two, tight, in the same stitch. Boom. Yeah, perfect. Now we just need to finish up this round. And then we can continue on to the next one. Amanda, if you want like a more detailed instructions, I do have a video. Uh, you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash color two, the number two. Uh, and I think that'll take you there. Uh, or you can search on my channel and I go through details about how to do an invisible color change. Uh, you can also find, I have a video called the perfect stripe method. That'll also help out a lot. Those are, those are the two best options that I have for uh, learning um, color changes. Def and specifically for amigurumi. Sometimes I feel like I make, uh, uh, like I'm making, um, balloon animals. Every now and then I feel like that. Two, three, four, Boom. I do love color changing. I love it. I need to do more color change art. They're, they're a little tough, but it is really fun to do. You can make some really cool looking stuff without having to sew anything on. All right, so now I just need two more rounds of just single crochets, uh, but doing color changes when we get to those parts. We're actually, we're doing pretty good. I mean, seeing as we started this dino, I got five and it's only 520, we're 20 minutes in and we're already like kind of almost there. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I mean, obviously we still need to sew on the tail. I mean, finish it, then sew on the tail then add the hat and then add the big mustache and then maybe an eye patch, we'll see. I don't think he'll need an eye patch because of the mustache, but he might. Whenever I do color changes, I try to like let the other color float to the side. That's what that's called, is when you let it, you ignore it completely and then you pull it back over. It's called floating the yarn. It's a good way to uh, make sure that the yarn, you're not crocheting around that color the whole time because then the color will bleed through the stitches. So usually I like to let the colors float. Carla, thank you. He needs a little toothbrush for his little tooth. Tooth. And boom. And we'll pull that one tighter.
another round of color changes. Which is nice because it's kind of easy. Oh, let's after this next after this round that I'm working on right now, let's vote on the name for our raptor. I'll choose I'll choose our um my four favorites and we'll vote on the names. Five, six, speed running. We're, I, I really should do a live stream where I'm speed run crocheting. That'd be really fun. Just to be like, how fast can we crochet a triceratops? And we'll make like, we'll make like four triceratops in the video. And then we'll like, uh, you know, We'll time ourselves and see how fast we can make them. That'd be kind of fun. That I think would be fun. All right, so we got our round done now. T-Rex coming together, pretty cute. Little tiny hands, very itty bitty hands. I love it, I love it. Um, now we want to uh, vote on the name of our Raptor. Okay. Vote on the. Uh, oh yeah. What do we name the raptor? Okay. Names. We're putting the name, we're putting Sheriff in front of all of them. So we're gonna have a bunch of Sheriff. Hold on, almost got them all, one sec, two more. Uh, that's kind of a fun one. Hold on, almost done. Cool. Cool names. All right, names are up. You vote. There we go. Um, we should do a crochet zoom. That would be kind of fun, actually. I like that idea. That'd be cool. Like just like a little group. I mean, or a big one. I don't know. I guess we could do a big one. It's also got the locking, right? Yeah, okay. All right, next we need to, uh, next is the legs, is the round with the legs. So this round's pretty annoying, so I'm gonna kind of take my time with it. Especially when you're making the, it with color changes. One, two, three, four. And the leg, does the leg go from the round up? So just right here. I'll drop my yarn. Ooh. We're also playing yarn chicken right now with this turquoise yarn. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna win it. I think we will. I believe in us. Okay, the most complicated legs ever. But 
you don't have to sew anything on, so it actually does save you time. Hey, almost done with one of the legs. Man, I'm getting good at these legs. Come on, right there. And then I'm pretty sure they're half color changes with the legs, right? Yeah, six half color changes. So, switch for this green, do one, there's two, three, four. Five, almost done with the color noise. Six, all right. I'll keep the color attached for right now so I can do one more leg. All right, this, uh, this is the last hard part, I think. After this, it's just hats and stuff. Jimbo's, or Phoebe, uh, ugh. Jules is sneezing in the other room, so one second. Bless you! Hope she heard that. If she didn't, her soul is going to leave her body. And the demon that lives in her walls is going to take it. And then we're going to have to make a barter with him. It's a whole thing. It's the worst part about living in this house is the wall demon keep stealing our souls every time we sneeze and no one blesses us he's just like my soul i'm like dude come on he's like can i have that bag of marbles and i'm like i guess and he's like thank you here's your soul back and i'm like for marbles i don't know dude's crazy dude's crazy i don't know i don't know what he's doing with all those marbles but it it's got to be nefarious like he can't be stealing mar like you know, making trades for souls, for marbles, for any good reason, you know? It's got to be something sketchy. But you never know with a demon. You never really know what they're doing. Oh, no! Guys! Uh-oh. That's not a lot of yarn left. Uh-oh. I don't know if we're going to make it. We'll find out. We only have two more rounds left, though. So, maybe? If we're lucky? Here, we'll keep it on screen so you guys can play chicken with me. It's very, it is not long. <sighs> Here we go. Okay, I think that's the end of our round, right? No, one more stitch. Okay, now is our round of, our first round of decreasing. Yikes on bikes. And then we got another round of decreasing after this. I don't think it's going to be enough, but we'll find out. One, we're gonna do the sharpest decreases I can to uh, make it so we don't use too much yarn. But this is some chicken. I guess he lost his marbles. That must have been it. Oh my God, you're a genius. Yarn chicken. Fun, fun games of... I think we're going to make it. Oof, I don't know, actually. Yikes. Okay, there's only... Six more stitches left now with this much yarn. Maybe. Uh, first, we need to stuff it a little bit. Including the head. Playing a dangerous game. Uh, and we'll stuff it with some extra of our just loose threads, too. <laughs> Zoe. 
Yeah, I have I have more of this color if I need it. We're not gonna stuff it with this, but we're gonna stuff it with the rest of this. It's fun, you know. Sometimes you gotta live life on the edge, Zoe. Some animal crossing music in the background. Gotta love it. Alright. Here goes nothing. Gulp. Alright. We got six of these. There's one. Two. Three, yikes, four, oh my god, <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make it, <laughs> five, oh, one more, oh my god, look at that, guys, oh my god, pull it through, boom, that's long enough to sew it closed, we won, we won yarn chicken. We won yarn chicken. Ain't no waste in this house. I don't want to use this. Yep. We all just won at yarn chicken, really, Victoria. I, I, I consider us all winners now. Wow, that was a really close call though. That was I think that's one of the closest I've ever had. Yeah. Basically we win. If you haven't liked this video yet, now is your best chance. I mean, when we win at Yarn Chicken that close, I mean, that is a like worthy uh situation if you ask me. If you ask me, if you're waiting for the perfect opportunity, I would say that that would be it. We have just enough to sew it closed. One, two, four, five. Wow, super impressive. Gosh almighty. Cut somewhere on the back. Pull it tight. Yoshi! That's what this song is. Not This is not Yoshi. Well, it could be Yoshi. We could name him Yoshi. Where's my stitch marker? Psh, I don't need no stinking stitch marker. I'm a pro, baby. When patterns are this small, I usually don't use a stitch marker. I just look at where my uh, increases and decreases are. We're gonna go right here with it. One, two, three. We're gonna go right here with it. Sew this on down here. Actually, maybe we should move it over one. One, two. Ah. Now ah, we can make it a little off to the side. That's okay. <laughs> Latslin, thank you. They aren't great, though. Honestly, they're covered in scars. We got a scar right here. We got a big scar right here. I used to have a, uh, like, basically, like two of these bones. Right here, so I had to get one removed when I was a kid. And then this finger, look at this finger. This finger's all messed up. What happened here is I sat on a uh, massage chair and I shoved my finger into the massage chair when I was seven years old. And then my uncle, the, the nail was like hanging off and I was crying and I was screaming and my uncle went like, okay, I'm gonna count to three. And I went, what are you gonna count to three for? 
and he grabbed a hold of the nail and he said, I'm going to count to three. He said, what for? What are you counting to three for? And he said, one, two, and then he ripped it before he got to three. And I was like, that was the meanest thing anybody has ever done to me and probably will ever do, <laughs> ever. Not like, I get it. Like I get where his thought process was going with that, but that hurt so bad. And also, you didn't even count to three. You said you were gonna count to three and you only got to two. What the heck? <laughs> you didn't even tell me what you were gonna do. <laughs> I remember being like, why did this happen to me? <laughs> it hurt. It hurt very bad. It was Christmas too. It was on Christmas. And I remember afterwards, I had a huge bandit on my finger, but I had just gotten uh, uh, a Wario game on my um, on my Game Boy. Uh, it was on those those old black and white Game Boys. And so I was playing a... Uh, yeah, I was, I was playing a very old Wario game on it. Just through tears. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Anyhow... That's one of those core memories that I'll never forget. Oh my gosh. We're getting attacked by bats. But you know what? Cooper's on it. Cooper is super. D duper. This tail is going to be much closer to this leg than this leg. Uh, that was kind of an accident, but also this way we'll be able to see the tail from the front. So it was totally on purpose and definitely not an accident. Oh, we need to stuff the tail up a little bit too. Let's go, Cooper. Cha cha da da. You know what? We need we need a sharp stick for this. Oop. I'm sorry, Mr. Camera. Please forgive us for our transgressions of accidentally tapping you. We still need 50 more likes to get the second to unlock giveaway numero dos today. It adds more character. Agreed, Victoria. One of my one of the best things someone asked me if I could crochet uh, like a bunch of the same goblin I said I can but one of the best things about crocheting is that they're never exactly the same there's always gonna be just a little bit of a difference between two things and I love that about it it's like everyone's their own little snowflake their own little cute snowflake that's different than each other Wow I always say if I were to have to lose a an, an arm, a hand specifically, not an arm. Honestly, if I had to lose my arm, that'd be a big bummer. But if I had to lose my hand, I always say I'd much rather lose my right hand than my left, even though I'm right-handed, because I don't think I could crochet without my right hand. I mean, without my left hand. I, I could definitely crochet without my right hand. Well, I think I could crochet without my right hand because I could just get a, a hook. A little tiny crochet hook for a hand. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Anyhow, these are the things I think about. All right. <laughs> I have got a little tiny T-Rex here. Now we need to give it uh, a black hat, big old fuzzy mustache, and call it quits. And we're going to end the vote for Sheriff. Drum roll, please. Sheriff Huggies. <laughs> Sheriff Huggies. Good old Sheriff Huggies. Oh my gosh, Sheriff Huggies, you're so cute. Now let's give you your, your mortal enemy, which we need a name for number two now, too. We need more name, name choices. If you haven't yet, oops. We need you to name our T-Rex, Sheriff.
There we go. Names for the T-Rex, guys. We need more. More names. Names for our antagonist. Uh, we need a dark... Is black going to be too dark? No, I think black will work. <laughs> That's a really good point, Cooper. Is the camera all wonky right now? Oh, it is. I don't know how. That's probably when I bumped it. There we go. All right. So we're making a, a, a nether, nether cowboy hat here. Do you want it to be this small? Yeah, I do. I want it to be that tiny. That's adorable. That's too cute. Let's see if I can remember how I did it. I remember how the start was. That's oh, all blurry. There we go. Over here, it's over. One. Two. Okay. And then I think it was Actually, I don't remember. Was this next round? Was it round 2 where we worked only in the front loops? I think it was. Christina, are all the dinos in the series on your channel or yet to be released? Everyone except for the raptor is on the website at uh, right here, clubcrochet.com slash dinos. Uh, that's where I'm putting all the patterns. The raptor should be there by, uh, honestly, it was supposed to be there today, but it wasn't. So hopefully by tomorrow, but uh, by the end of the weekend, it'll be there. And it's a, it's a good and it's a good pattern, if you ask me. All right, now we go into both loops and this back loop. We go one. I think it was just a regular single crochet all the way around. Two. Hard to do with black yarn. Oh yeah, tiny tiny accessories definitely is something that uh, I want to work on soon. Um, my uh, business partner Nicole was saying she really thinks I should do that yesterday, actually. You know what? I think you're right. I think we need to do a whole series of just tiny little things to add to your amigurumi. I used to do a series of hats for a while. And that was pretty cool. But I think we need even more. Four. Same one. Wow. This kind of went on autopilot for this round, but it totally worked. Because I don't think I missed any stitches. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Top of our 
hat. Now we do another round where we make it a little bigger. We crack our fingers, crack our everythings. Ooh. Yeah, everybody likes blobs, Casey. Blobs are the great, a great, uh, great thing to do. Always crochet a blob. Highly suggested. Everybody should crochet blobs. <laughs> Uh, all right. This one. Yes, 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 yes. And we're going to do, we're going to try double crochets for the uh, brim on this hat to see what the difference is. And because this guy's got a little bit bigger of a head, so he can handle it. You can't handle the hat. Do one more, and then I do a slip, boop, and then we're gonna chain two, one, two. And double crochets all around, front loop only. Let's see how this goes. One. Three, four, uh, -na. yes, it's a bigger hat, but I think it'll work. What's a good pun about an outlaw at the T-Rex? Hmm. What are good names for outlaws? All I can think about is like, actually, yeah, it should be something like, remember in SpongeBob when, when they're pretending to be cowboys and, and outlaws and a, and a sheriff? And he goes like, he goes like, uh, he calls, he calls uh, Patrick, Pinhead Larry, and he goes, Who you calling Pinhead? I think that's what the name should be, something like that. Tasha, hello, how are you? Hop along Rexity, oh my god, that's, see, that's good. See, that's the kind of stuff we're, we're looking for. That's the kind of names we're looking for. If you haven't added that to the, to the list yet, Tasha, you totally should. Or someone should add it to the list for Tasha. Because that's a good name. I think we might want to increase in the front and the back. Because right now it's starting to become a little bit of a, a weird, weird situation here. Maybe if we stretch out the stitches a little bit. But if we could connect it to it. There we go. Down in front. Up on the sides. Down on the front, up on the sides. Yeah, like that. We can have just one side up and one side down, like he's so he's an Aussie. <laughs> Outlaw beans. Now we can, you know what, we'll do one more in this stitch just because it doesn't really matter too much. Slip stitch here. Looks weird when we have it like this. It's like a bucket hat.
that stitch. Hide this down to the base. Maybe, there we go. All right, let's see how this looks on him. Once I get the stitches out a little bit. I might even sew on the sides up so that they stay up. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. So this side right up here should be sewn on just slightly. Right? Let's give it a shot. Like that. Oh wait, that was actually the wrong space place for it, but we can undo that. Maybe after we sew it onto the head. Let's start with this side. Um, no, I think we'll figure out we'll figure something out, Latchland. I mean, you can you buy, you know, go for it if you want to uh, get a crochet zoom crew going. You absolutely can, and just let me know about it. But I'll try to start figuring that out too. But you absolutely can run with that if you want. Don't let me stop you. That's what this that's what these guys sound like. Don't let me stop you. You can you can schedule your zoomies whenever you want. Get this one up, this one down, like that. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Who are you calling Panhead? <laughs> oh, I like that it's super tiny on this guy. All right, let's sew this hat on. And I'm gonna not only, I'm a, I'm a gonna, <laughs> I'm a gonna not only sew it on, but I'm a gonna try to sew it so it stays like the, the ends of the hat stay down too. Once we're around once. That out one. this part down up this. we're figuring it out we're figuring it out somewhere on the side And then we'll sew this front one down. And we'll have this side up. See, that's a cowboy hat. We'll go right down on the snaws right there. If I did increase stitches on the front and the back, they would hold down a little bit better. But you know, it's not bad. For off the cuff, off the hook, 
not bad. That's what we should call like the live streams when I don't have a plan or we like design it live and stuff. We should call those off the hook. That'd be cute. Okay. He needs a belt and he needs a mustache. For the belt, I'm voting we do the same brown that's in this guy's hat. That's a, I like that idea, Lachlan. Yeah. Email me. We'll talk about it. Do you have my email? I'm sure you do, right? If you don't, just email contact at clubcrochet.com. But my email is just louie at clubcrochet.com. That's a good, that, that there, that there to me, that, that there's a good cowboy hat. Now that, now that there, that's a good cowboy hat. Now let's get some, uh, well, let's give him a, let's give him his belt. Let's give him his belt. Does he get, no, he doesn't get a badge. He's an outlaw. Outlaws don't get badges. Outlaws don't get badges. I'm gonna go just over the tail. Around. Boom. All right, last thing he needs is a stash and then we'll be done. Which means, I reckon it's time we we put this guy's name to a vote. But well, first off, let's, fi let's fix that there. We'll give him something to stand on so you can see him a little better. There it is. All right, here's a vote for the names of the T-Rex. Oh, we got a lot. Oh, I, I like that name. That's a good name. Name the T-Rex. Boom. Oh, great. Guys, I gotta say, I like the raptor names. They were good. The T-Rex names, even better. Even better. Honestly, I'm having a hard time choosing. There you go. Oh, dang it, Tasha. Why'd you say that so late? Trexus Pete? That's a good name. Oh, well. I'm voting for the one I like. All right, we need a, we need a mustache. That's what we need. Buddy. All right, we just need a little bit of this yarn, but I think this is gonna do it. I don't even know if we need to crochet it. Yeah, we, sh we should try, we should try crocheting it. I have an idea on how to crochet it. I used to crochet a lot of mustaches uh, when I first started crocheting. So we're gonna try that first. If that doesn't work out, we can just embroider it or something. Go one, two, three. 
Let's do four. And then one, two, three on the other one, and then extra. And then we'll just start working our way down. Up. Single. Single. On the underside. And then single. Single. And then a slip. Kind of hard to tell what's going on there, but that's okay because I think when I sew it on, I can fix it a little bit. So let's try this. Let's try it. You're doing a Zoom subreddit? Email me, email me, Lechlin. We'll, we'll, I mean, the answer is pro yeah, you probably have the rights, but email me, we'll figure it out together. Before I give the total A okay, you know what I mean? So we're going like that. Then go right here. That's it. Just have it come out somewhere on the back. Boop. Into the same stitch. Out through the center right here. And thread this on a needle. If we can. It's very fuzzy. Very, very fuzzy. Might be too fuzzy. We might find that this stash is a little bit too fuzzy. We will find out for sure. Soon. Most assuredly. Then we'll go around this, back in, and then out these stitches over. Oops. Around this, back in. And I think if I pull this tight, it'll tighten it in. And then we'll just go in out through here and then down in and out on the back and then we'll see how this looks before we decide if we want to double knot it or not there you go what do we think of that for our t-rex's mustache it's a little overpowering not gonna lie it's a little bit overpowering but it's not that bad If I lower it down a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? We can take the end here. We can twist it. Actually, we might need to just trim it. That, that. It's it. Thank you, Victoria. That's how I feel. It's certainly there. It's very orange, very big. It's not the worst. It's thick. We got a thick stash. 
Yeah, we can't undo it and just try to go a little bit more uh, conservative with this stash. You think he needs to come past the tooth and he, you won't even see his eyes? Hey, Froppy. How are you? Hey, this is our last thing. What do we think? Do we like this stash? I think we're going to go with it. I think we're going to go with it. He looks like Rupert Weasley. That's funny. That's a funny. What's his name? What what name are you guys voting on? <laughs> hiccup? This could work for a hiccup. Looks like a fat lip. All right, fine. We're getting rid of this. We're going to try something a little bit more conservative. A little bit more simple. Can't all be winners. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I think we could do better. We've put all this time into our to our T-Rex here. We got to make sure he's got a good stash. Now, again, this yarn might be too fuzzy, but we're going to try embroidering on a stash. We're going to go we're going to go here and come out there in the center. And this one's going to go across like that. Oops. That. I'm gonna go around it like so. The other one's gonna go down over there, and then we're gonna go right up over this lip. Come on, right, right. No, no. Don't fight me on this. Yeah, like that. Okay. So this way it'll be like. Pulled down right there. It's hard to make a mustache look good on a T-Rex, I'll tell you. And then this part will go around this part so that it pulls it down a little bit. And then we're going to go all the way across to the other side of the lip. Right there. Do we like this? Do we like what's going on here more or less? Are we gonna change and we're gonna do the eye patch instead? Uh, maybe. We might. Cause we're trying to get like that. I actually think if we get a little bit more fur here. Add <laughs> a ponytail to match the stash. You're funny. And then we'll have this side. We have this side come up. Right about here. Nope, right about right next to the eye right there I'll come out through the side all right Oop. your hat keeps getting messed up my little friend
Alright. <sighs> fine. We'll do a... <laughs> you really want a ponytail? Alright, fine. That's enough request for a ponytail to let it happen. We just gotta have to use the tail ends for something anyhow. He is evil after all. And everybody knows the most evil hairstyle you could have is a ponytail. It's gonna probably be more like a rat tail. Ugh, rat tails are gross. Like this. Mustache is getting in his eyes. You might need to give it a little trim. Oh my god. Guys, he looks like a... <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go no on the ponytail. Look at that. He looks like a... Uh... He looks like he's gonna go, mm, lady. <laughs> he looks like he's a... Uh... He looks like he has very strong opinions about, um, about, uh, very obscure anime. <laughs> I don't know if this ponytail's gonna work out. We gotta double knot it though anyhow, so we'll do that. Okay, Latchlin, we're just about done anyhow, so thanks for watching. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's see. Let's see. If we just cut it nice and short here, and we kind of spin it together a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It creeps me out. <laughs> We're, we're saying no on the ponytail, but yes on the stash. All right. There's our boy. Looks like his name is probably going to be Hiccup. But while y'all are voting on the end of that name there. Okay, so here here's, a, here's what looks like Hiccup. The outlaw in this here town, and and here's our sheriff. This is our this here's our this here's our sheriff Huggies. We got Sheriff Huggies and Hiccup. This town's not big enough for the two of us. I don't know. We're pretty tiny. Yeah, I suppose you might be right. <laughs> They're not kissing. That's them trying to fight with their little hands. He's a rough, rough and tootin', bootin' T-Rex that can't stand up straight. There we go. He's had too much sarsaparilla. <laughs> All right. Now, we need to vote on... Or no, we don't need a vote. We need to choose a winner. We almost had enough for a second giveaway. But I did say 300, and we're only at 263 likes. So if this video gets 300 likes by the next live stream, then we can give away missed. We can give away our outlaw huggies in the next live stream if we want. But in this here live stream, we're only giving away Sheriff Huggies. Sorry, I, don't, I think I called him Huggies. He's not Huggies. Sheriff Huggies, who's gonna win the giveaway? Let's find out. We're gonna make it so we don't take any more responses. Ooh, guys, we got about 90 people in the giveaway. That is, I think, a record. So that's pretty cool. And 
Hold on. All right. Ready? We're going to do a random number generator here between 90. Okay. This music's perfect. All right. And our winner. Wait, what number? Is all right. Ready? Drum roll. Oh, you already got the drum roll. Okay, great. The winner is Nikki. They just go by Nikki. N I K K I. Uh, uh, Nikki Leap. Maybe Nikki Leap. I don't know if they're in the chat still, but Nikki, congratulations. You win. Sheriff Huggies, I'll be emailing you later tonight to find out where to ship Sheriff Huggies. Thank you so much to everybody who's entered this giveaway and who has joined this live stream and just being a homie. I really appreciate it. Oh, I really like it. I, it's going to be hard to say goodbye to you, Sheriff. But there's another land looking for that needs a new sheriff and i think you might be the perfect fit might be the perfect fit all right guys let's switch cameras real quick thank you so much for joining uh i appreciate you guys so much thank you so much again i will be back next thursday same time same place 3 p.m pacific standard time we are crocheting, what are we crocheting next week? Oh, I think we're crocheting a an Audrey 2. So that is going to be this, this beautiful, beautiful thing. I think we're going to be crocheting one of these next week. I think. I might change my mind, but I'm pretty sure. Um, we do have kits available in the shop for this. If you purchase a kit today, uh, it'll come in time for next week. So there's your option if you want to get a kit. It comes with a little pot and everything. They're in the shop. Uh, but I think we're going to be making one of these next week. 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll see you guys there. Please, again, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And, uh, the, uh, yeah. Okay, let me think. Am I missing anything? Thank you for everybody who's donated and supported. Pasta La Pizza. Happy hooking. And, no. Mm-mm. God, stop. <laughs> you hang up. Oh my god, no you. No, you hang up. Oh my god, you're gonna make me blush. Stop it. Oh. oh my god, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Oh my god, no, you oh hang up. Oh my god, what are you doing? Hang up. Oh my god, would you guys would you hang up already? Will you please hang up, please. Wow. Please and thank you. Wow. No, you! Oh my god, I stop. <laughs> you stop. Alright, alright. Hang up. No, you. No, you. <laughs>